can you tell us a little bit about this uh, story of how this white paper got put into the world and who put it there? Sure, I see. Me, uh, is on mute, so so I'll, I'll do that. Uh, so so basically, there was um, this uh, IRC thread, uh, IRC group for Bitcoin developers. I think it was what's it called, Bitcoin Wizards, right? I think an anonymous person uh, basically came in there and, and dropped a paper uh, that um, uh, outlined the kind of the sketched out the kind of the basic concept of Mimblewimble, uh, which was then picked up by Andrew Polstra and I think Brian Bishop, Bishop as well. And they kind of had some interactions there, and Andrew Polstra, Andrew Polstra formalized uh, some of the concepts in there into a paper, uh, and, and 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 took it from there. Right, because from what I remember, like you know, the original document wasn't even like you no, know, it was like literally just a text a dot txt file that was just yeah. dropped in there, and it had like it, it looked like just like you know some quick thoughts on like what this guy was thinking and like some ideas, and um, also you know for the listeners, one of the you know one of the cute little. St- story things there is like it was signed like the, the anonymous person they signed them themselves using the name tom elvis jadosaur which is like uh you know the french name of voldemort like in the english versions it's tom marvelo riddle um so it's the french alias um so yeah do you guys have any like you know guesses as to who it may have been like you know i've heard like you know clearly in the text file a lot of these ideas were heavily derived from like Greg Maxwell's previous works like CoinJoin and Confidential Transactions. So, you know, I've heard Greg, I, I've heard it posited that, you know, it may have just been Greg himself or do you guys have any like theories on who this was or is it not even like of interest to you and you actually don't even care to find out? I don't, I don't personally have any theories on it. Um, it, it would be interesting. As, as you just said there, I think that's kind of key. Um, there were a lot of the Mimble Wimble paper. It builds a lot, a lot of builds upon a lot of ideas that were already there and kind of developed by established cryptographers. The the actual kind of portion of it that that makes up Mimble Wimble is just kind of a small insight slash addition to what was already presented before. So whoever it was didn't necessarily have to be a great cryptographer. It was certainly a great flash of insight wherever it came from. But um, no, to me, I mean. I don't think we're ever going to find out who it is. And even if, the, even if whoever it is makes themselves known, no one's probably no one will believe them at this point. So <laughs> I think we just have to leave it as a, as a mythical creation story at this point.